Okay, so we're in the area where you can actually set your Amazon FBA uh, shipment splits, right? First of all, I'm gonna show you how to change that. You go up to this rotary icon, you go to uh, Fulfilled by Amazon, that will take you to this screen. And then the inbound settings, you click Edit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the Amazon um, optimized splits first. Okay, we're gonna update that. And now I'm gonna go to Inventory Lab. That's how I currently uh, submit shipments. Uh, you can see a link in the description if you're interested in taking a look at that program. Here is a shipment that I'm doing. There's about 700 units in this shipment. I click Review Batch. I click Submit uh, and then Sync. And let's see how this is gonna, how they're gonna split this up. Oh, wow. So in order to get all the discounts that Amazon uh, is offering me, this 600, 700 unit shipment is going to five different warehouses. That's five different uh, pallets uh, all the time in uh, employee time and making sure and making sure that these shipments are accurate, reconfiguring my boxes because I have case packs and all that stuff. So we're going to decline this and we're going to go back and I'm gonna go change those settings because let's say my average savings is 30 cents a unit. I'm sending 700 units. You know, you're doing the math, that's $210 extra if it was just going to one warehouse versus five different warehouses. So if I'm gonna pay, let's say $70 for each pickup, let's say that's, uh, <laughs> this is, the math gets crazy. I've gotta lay this out in a spreadsheet, but the the pallet costs uh breaking these things up the time that the staff is going to use to not only um configure these pallets but also to deal with the different trucks that might come you know different shipping companies are going to come so instead of having one pickup now i'm going to have five different pickups and let's say each pickup takes uh 20 to 30 minutes potentially you know you're taking an uh, an extra two hours of employee time that you wouldn't have that's important to really consider all these costs we're going to go to this and we're going to do minimum splits all right and we're going to go and take a look at how this is configured now so i'm going to review the same exact batch submit and let's see what it is because this is the the shipment that uh that we are ready to go this is ready to go everything's boxed up boxed up in case packs and here we go one warehouse 642 units and this is the way i'm going to go for about a week or two to see how the added costs affect my business uh when you're doing ltl or full truckload this is definitely going to make a big difference and you got to think of more than just the per unit cost it's uh employee time added costs to actually ship to all these different warehouses the shrink wrap you're going around the pallets now i'm doing five pallets instead of two pallets a lot to think about here but that's this is what you're dealing with as an amazon seller now especially on the ltl side when you know single box shipments is a little bit uh, easier to split those up and put 12 here 16 there 24 here when my case backs are 24 in a case how am i going to send 12 to one warehouse and uh 13 to another it's uh it's really what this program looks like is just in a way to amazon to logically shift costs from their side uh, more of these costs uh to the seller that's what this new inventory placement looks like because either way either your your spending cost per unit and simplify going the simplified method or your uh spending costs uh on time and uh accuracy and all that stuff and then amazon doesn't have to deal with it so they're shifting their costs to you either way uh it looks like the seller loses in this scheme in this new scheme if you have any questions or you want to let me know any tips that could save me some money on these ltl shipments uh please leave a note in the comments i'll see you next time